Juicy in Monopoly, onboarding new players, and a recap of the latest tournaments. In this video, we're going through the latest news and updates from Galaxy Fight Club, dev blog number 46. Three sections, as always, to get through, starting with game and Web3 development. There are a couple of key features uh, we are prioritizing. Onboarding and retention, improving overall onboarding experience from seeing our collection on OpenSea, revamp to learning more about us in Discord tutorials, better video content, to in-game tutorials, in-game tutorials, tutorial and smoother gameplay gen 1 2d art revamp as requested by the community and create social system and ability to queue with friends and on the daily active user side pc client to get on more platforms and increase the aau and here's some elaboration on the above point and other features we are working on simultaneously number one the armor system we have continued to work on the armor system in which we bring the other traits of the galaxy fighters into the game and provide value to them different face traits such as eyes mouths etc will provide different stats to the fighter introducing another whole new aspect to consider when picking a fighter to purchase and use in game here are a list of in-game 3d models uh, that we have created since the last update so there's eyes head and mouth there's a big list there and some images uh, correlating to those traits the character armor system has been completed on the logic side. Now we are modeling, drawing textures and creating materials to include in the game. Our artists have completed over 100 components, including models, materials and textures. Number two, updated Toon Visual for PC version. In preparation for the upcoming PC version, we have updated the Toon Visual system to bring a sharper, more vivid and at the same time, more optimized version of the game. They've updated the Unity uh, version and fixed issue with newer URP features, which is a universal rendering pipeline. It handles the in-game image rendering the mesh slash material of characters and environments are processed by the URP. They fix the depth normals pass and related effects like SSAO which is the screen space ambient occlusion is a shading and rendering technique used to calculate how exposed each point in a scene is to ambient lighting. Fix issue where enable GPU instance properties in a layered property. Number three updated UI to prepare for the brand new 3.0 game client heading to Brunar A we have updated the entire sci-fi style UI theme with blue and purple main colors and neon lines. So this will be in the upcoming game builds. Be prepared for a fresh new look. Number four, the improved cloud content delivery system. Along with the upcoming face trait system, we had to find a way to optimize the size of the game client as the amount of models, materials, and textures is becoming very large and it is unrealistic to have them bundled with the game client. As a countermeasure, we have implemented real-time cloud data synchronization as a demand system. This allows the game client to fetch models and materials from cloud storage on demand and hence the files don't have to be downloaded and stored internally on the device. Number five, the Battle Royale animation trailer. This week, our animators continued to work on the final rendering of the previously approved draft while also working on the visual and sound effects for the final footage. Final footage is going to be available next week. Really looking forward to that one. Number six, on the tournament mode with Fractal Studio. So along with features above, we are also continuing work on the tournament mode. So far, we have created the API for admins to create tournaments with custom rules, starting time and list of players. Players. We are working with Fractal's technical team to implement their API into the game mode and have the score posted on the leaderboard on their website. Tournaments created with this feature are only available by invitation. This allows us to create official events with it and have guilds and players sign up with us. And some other updates. As requested by the community this week, we would also like to reshare the latest logic on matchmaking, weapons, balancing, and the creation of social features such as matchmaking with friends and adding friends. So on matchmaking, after multiple iterations, our current matchmaking logic have stayed constant in the last few builds our current matchmaking system is only divided into two levels beginners and skilled players because we want players to be able to find matches as fast as possible in the upcoming period we will enable matchmaking based on players of the same rank if no matches are found the system will open a wider search with the closest rankings to ensure that players can start the match as quickly as possible while balancing the level between players in the same match two game builds ago we also already introduced a completely separate logic for new players that is different ranked play this logic for new players ensures they do only get matched with basic tier bots with a higher win rate for the players as to ensure a better initial experience before they join the beginner and advanced player pool for matchmaking weapon balancing we made a series of weapon updates previously there was neither a buff nor a debuff but an update to some weapon mechanics no update on weapon stats have been made since certain weapons that were de deemed too strong were also removed from the bots as requested
hosted by the community. And the social features like a friends system and an in-game chat system have all been developed and we are waiting for the right time to roll these features out. We are currently building a friends queue feature so you can play with your friends. This is on the roadmap, but not top of priority as there are other features we are working uh, on first as mentioned above. So a lot in the works and that will take us on to section B and that is business development and marketing. Did you grow up playing Monopoly? It's time to get back in. Together uh, with our partners, Properties and Friends, we got the rights to release our own Monopoly game published by Hasbro. We as partners have secured 50 units of this limited edition board game and we'll reveal the release plan for these soon. So more to come on that. Currently, our focus is on our onboarding experience. Even though we have plenty of information and resources available within our Discord, we recognize that many of them are very difficult to navigate and find. To improve this, we are introducing Discord forums. We are compiling updated information from several channels within the start here sections into these forums. This will allow new users and new community members to find the correct information with ease and consume it in bite size pieces. Instead of having separate channels like the ones containing information on our collections, we will include them under one forum to make it more streamlined and less overwhelming. Within the coming weeks, we will start rolling out access to the new forums within our Discord server to the community. We will start by rolling out for the Battle Pass holders to get feedback on the structure and further improve them. Simultaneously, we actively look for qualified content creators to help us improve and expand our social media presence and content rollout. You can expect a shift in both content and socials within the month of April. We are currently in the process of preparing and finalizing our strategy, not only for Twitter, but also for our other social media platforms. The goal is for Galaxy Fight Club to organically build a footprint in the overarching game spaces and track gamers, even those who are not involved in Web3 organically. Furthermore, we want to address our rules and policies within our community once again. We want to emphasize that we welcome constructive criticism, but we don't accept misbehavior. Misbehavior can come in various forms, may it be harassment, sexism, racism, hate speech, or anything else that is seen as inappropriate. Moving forward, anyone acting inappropriately will receive a seven day ban depending on the severity even a permanent ban may be executed we want to keep our discord positive and enjoyable for everyone and with that onto our final section which is community some upcoming events there's a table here with the upcoming events players may pick one tournament on each day there is a holder only event uh, on march 29 that scholars are not eligible to participate in some links to the sign ups here hoodies shipping details being processed by 3pl expect uh tracking numbers this week march twitter competition we are wrapping up the march twitter to comp on March 31. Remember to use the hashtag March Madness GFC and hashtag March Madness to enter. There have been a ton of great gameplay footage hitting the airwaves. Thank you for sharing and please keep at it. Bonus points for tagging big names in the NFT Twitter sphere or commenting your posts and gaming conversations you see going on. We are loading up the account with top notch Gen 2 and are eyeing a top 10 winner for this month. Still have at least one lightning blade up for grabs. Not much time uh, left this month. Let's show Twitter what we are made of. There's a link here to some video footage of the tournaments if you need to use that in your content and the current prize stash as an image here. So some great prizes up for grabs. Let's recap some events. So March 17 and 20 events, the Gen 1 holder nine point event and the 12 point event. We continue to see the King B Fusion team establish themselves as gameplay leaders in the Gen 1 holder channel with holders OG, a close second and unleashed hard eight firmly in third. If you are a Gen 1 holder, definitely step in and start enjoying these events. They are competitive for a wider range of skills and still feature great prizes. Keep an eye here. Uh, these teams are improving and new alliances will be formed to challenge the current top of the leaderboard. In the 12 point event, we saw the new pecking order that has been established among GFC's best take form again with Zen taking first, Anson Family taking second and D2D Newbie rounding out the top three. The Dr. Crossbow proved to be the meta with Yami absolutely dominating his opponents, wielding it while William slung green asteroids all over the jungle map. We continue to see matches at the highest level played with precision and strategy with single mistakes or great plays determining outcomes every move and shot matters so the march 24th events with two simultaneous events we saw the zen sweep for the first time in the dual event era massive congrats to the current leading guild so william dennis and yami win another tournament the 15 pointer and after a valiant effort from the anson family of kev spite and dons taking the first match in the championship round before ultimately losing a tight one these were clearly the best two teams on the day featuring some seriously high powered weaponry including a nice 
Ice Cube siding for the winning team. The eight point event was very hotly contested and actually the more popular event of the day. Great to see Skulls battle OG holders in this one with most matches going down to the wire. Many different character and weapon combos. You love to see it. Jan dominated the competition featuring mostly Candy Gun on Sans map before transitioning to the Echo Chamber for the final round on Jungle Map. We are seeing a number of guilds breaking into the upper sphere of GFC greatness, battling for a championship belt, including D-Gen and D2D with Jungle, who tied fifth, poking around a bit behind them. And we'll finish on some general notes and weapons points table. Great speaking with doctors and battle pass holders to hear ideas and connect. We will continue to speak directly to the community to engage them as we build out the GFC universe. Lots of great ideas about game balancing, possible new ways to engage players, PFP art, weapons value, and general roadmap possibilities. Thank you to all who tuned in and contributed to the conversation. We have made some slight changes to the weapons points table for upcoming events. The shield meta will now cost more to take advantage of during cash events and there is a link here to the weapons points table. And that is it from dev blog number 46. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.